express your creativity to the glory of God. Enjoy watching. Hello everyone. This is Samantha here. God bless you on this beautiful evening. Although somebody may be watching this in the morning or in the afternoon. But I am going to um, upload this video um, tonight. It's Monday, February 12th. And um, I had mentioned in a video earlier, um, previous videos I should say, that I wanted to do um, something like bedtime stories and drawing on it. So it's like, it's not really all that different than... Um, something I've done in the back in the past where I've read a portion of scripture and journaled on it but um what was on my heart this time around is to read um not just a verse um but um the entire portion um of scripture whether it's a, sh a psalm or um a particular story out of one of um the books the old testament books or a proverbs or an from something from the epistles the book in books in the new testament not to just pull out a verse but to read it within its um total context and um i guess what's well not i guess what's on my heart is is call it bedtime stories because my thought and my desire is that perhaps someone would read this at night and will watch this video rather at night and just go to sleep with good thoughts about God and about you know Jesus about themselves in Christ and um although it may not be the very last thing um the person watches um but still that's my desire that going into the night going into to bed if they watch it late, it would just be, um, God will use it to comfort, to heal, to bless, to encourage, um, to strengthen. Um, yeah, so, yeah, so that's what's on my heart. And, um, maybe someone will watch this video that maybe they don't know the Lord and, they will hear something in the reading of the Bible or see something in the journal and that will speak to their hearts and even lead them to Jesus Christ. Um, just to know that God loves them. He loves everybody. Those that have said yes to Jesus and those that have not said yes to Jesus as of yet. And those that he knows will never say yes to him. It doesn't mean that he doesn't love um, them he loves us all so um i mean that's just beautiful that's another message in and of itself right so i'm just gonna go ahead and i'm gonna read and um i'm gonna take my time and read it and i just pray that who's ever watching this is just so blessed um i'm gonna read psalm 139 and um i'm gonna read from the niv version um, because it's a, it's a version of the Bible that, um, a translation rather that is easier for most people to understand. Some people struggle with, um, the, the, um, the King James version. So, um, I think the NIV version is more for like a general, a more general population of people to understand. So here we go. Psalm 139. Oh Lord, you have searched me and you know me. You know, when I sit and when I rise, you perceive my thoughts from afar. You discern my going out and my lying down. You are familiar with all my ways. Before a word is on my tongue, you know it completely, O oh Lord. You hem me in, behind, and before. You have laid your hand upon me. 
Such knowledge is too wonderful for me, too lofty for me to attain. Where can I go from your spirit? Where can I flee from your presence? If I go up to the heavens, you are there. If I make my bed in the depths, you are there. If I rise on the wings of the dawn, if I settle on the far side of the sea, even there your hand will guide me. Your right hand will hold me fast. If I say surely the darkness will hide me and the light become night around me, even the darkness will not be dark to you. The night will shine like the day for darkness is as light to you. For you created my inmost being. You knit me together in my mother's womb. I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful. I know that full well. My frame was not hidden from you when I was made in the secret place. When I was woven together in the depths of the earth, your eyes saw my unformed body. All the days ordained for me were written in your book before one of them came to be. How precious to me are your thoughts, O oh God. How vast is the sum of them. Were I to count them, they will outnumber the grains of sand. When I awake, I am still with you. If only you would slay the wicked, O oh God. Away from me, you bloodthirsty men. They speak of you with evil intent. Your adversaries misuse your name. Do I not hate those who hate you, O Lord, and abhor those who rise up against you? I have nothing but hatred for them. I count them my enemies. Search me, O God, and know my heart. Test me and know my anxious thoughts. See if there is any offensive way in me and lead me in the way everlasting. And that is Psalm 139. And I'm going to journal on Being loved by God with all my shortcomings, all my failures, all my mishaps. We are, I, I'll, I'm going to confess it and proclaim it for myself, but I'm also going to speak it out because it's true for you too with all my faults all my shortcomings all my flaws and imperfections mishaps struggles the sin that I commit daily I am still loved by God you are still loved by God that's awesome we are fearfully and wonderfully made when God created everything he said it is good and yes you know the fall with Adam, the fall of man, Adam and Eve. But still, Jesus loves us still. We are his creation. And we are fearfully and wonderfully made. So, yeah, I'm going to journal on that. And I'm going to meditate on that. Yeah, just meditate. I am fearfully and wonderfully made. God loves me with all my shortcomings. He still loves me. Yes. So, yes. So, stay tuned for the journaling part. 
God bless you. And remember, Jesus loves you. Thanks for watching. I pray that you have blessed dreams tonight. Amen. Amen. Okay, so here we go. I am going to talk through the video. Um, um, this is, I'm thinking, I'm not flying by the seat of my pants, but in a way, this is spontaneous. Um, like, I, I do have some ideas. Sometimes I have ideas, but I don't know how I'm going to put it together. I didn't think of the whole layout. So, it's even though I have some ideas, it's still very much spontaneous. Um, when I don't do spontaneous journaling or art, I actually like draft the whole thing out first. I will draft it out in a book and then I will just duplicate on a page what I have written down, what I what I laid out. But um, it's spontaneous when I have an idea. I say, well, I can use these stickers. I can use that. But still, I don't know how everything is going to unfold. And I may even end up changing something. So, that's what's going to um, happen in here, right? So, I do want to use this. This is my Inspire Psalms um, coloring journal book. Um, I've done some things in here and I have videos on it. Look at this. is still here because I was doing something. Let me take that out because I'm going to need it. <laughs> and... Um, so I'm going to journal on this. I'm not going to color. Let me see if I can get this out the way and make sure this whole thing is um, in screen. So I think I could zoom out a bit. Let me see if I could do that. I think I can. No, I think. Is that the smallest I could go? Yeah, I think so. So let me see if I can position this in a way that's better. Hold on. I'm sorry. Okay. I think that's much better. Yeah, that's much better. So... Um, this is Psalm 139 5. I'm gonna save this for another day to color on. Um, and this is some of Psalm 139 that starts on a previous page. But right here, I like this because there's nothing to color on this page but these letters. And um right here is the verse that I was really thinking about. You made all the delicate inner parts of my body and knit me together in my one of what in my mother's womb. Thank you for making me so wonderfully complex. And the King James Version and the NIV Version reads, I'm fearfully and wonderfully made. So, I'm going to use this to journal in. I have this complete guide to Bible journaling, and I don't use it as much. But sometimes I am, I don't use it a lot, I should say. But sometimes I am led to look through it, and then um, I'll get inspired by something that I see. Um, so today, as I opened it, what stood out to me was these dangles, um, these drawing patterns, because I like to do borders, but I, it's very evident that I'll just put squiggly lines sometimes and I'll put some hearts, but I don't get too fancy, but I was looking at this and I sort of want to try this today in my journaling page. Look at this one right here. This is a nice text. It's by it's a complete guide to Bible journaling by Joanne Fink and Regina Yoder. So, yeah. So I was thinking about using the dangles, and I don't. I'm not gonna. I don't think I'm gonna do it exactly like this, but this will be like some inspiration for me. And then in the back here, there are some things that I can use. Um, some letters if I want. But um, I may not. Um, I may not. I may use these hearts. I'm not sure. But it depends. Look at these. These are all. I think. What are these? These are some tracing. Something you can trace. But I think I'm going to use my own. I like this right here. So I might do something like this. But I may add my own little touches to it. I like this. How they have the dangles hanging from it. So who knows? I might I might do a dangle. We'll see. So so far I know I want to try that. And I'm gonna put this book over to the side so I won't be in the way. I sort of wanted to come off the pages with this. Like um do like something like this and stamp it off on this corner and then over here 
or should I do it over here and then here so I think that's what I'm gonna do I have this and stamp and I use this stamp I think like once or twice I really like this stamp but sometimes it's just like it's so big and I'm lately I've been using small pages so if I use this it's gonna take up the whole page but I'm gonna try to use it today because um what I want to say over here um I have space for this what is this Okay, I um, got a little bit dirt on there. Anyways, so I know I want to use those two so far. And I'm thinking about using some gelatos. I'm I'm most likely going to use a gelato today. I have several. I don't know the color theme yet. But um, I'm going to lay down some gesso. I do not think I'm going to use... I think I'm going to use stickers today. I think I'm going to use... I might use stickers and my own hair right now. I'm going to just see. Like I said, spontaneous, right? So, first things first, let me use some gesso. Now, since this, I cut this, right? I don't have enough space for it. But I do have these cutting mats that I got from the Dollar Tree. So, I'm going to use this chopping mat. And um, you see, I may have to move some of this stuff on my desk on the side to the left of me because, um, so you know what? Let me move these out of the way. I need as much space as possible because this, this text itself is just, it's just a large text period. So, um, the print is small, but the book itself is large. So, look. So, see, I just put that in there. You, They come two in a pack for a dollar. And I think that's really nice. And, um, so let me go ahead. I'm using this Art Basics Clear Gesso. And since I'm talking through the video, I already know this video is going to be very long. I put up a long video the other day. And I was surprised. I was like, this video is so long. I don't know how many people are going to watch this video, but... To my surprise, it got um a few. I got it got more review, more views than I thought it was going to get. So, um, and I don't even have a number in mind. I just didn't. I just didn't know what to really expect. But you know, I just said you know. I just I knew it was on my heart to put it up. So I didn't want to. I didn't want to not put it up because I'm thinking it won't get a lot of views. Because then then my art then my posting will not be like authentic because for me i always have to be reminded that this is not about um just like this is not about me getting a bunch of likes it's about me sharing so um yeah so i just put some gesso there i want to make sure i'm in frame all the way so i'm going to put this down just a little bit because i want everything to be in frame good so I'm not going to gesso all of this. It's not really necessary. No, because I'm not going to. Am I? Okay. Now, I see that it looks kind of. I don't know if it's this gesso. Because this gesso is, is this. This is kind of old now. And I don't know. Sometimes I just think it looks kind of dirty like i don't know how to explain it like i don't want my page looking all grimy hold on one second what's this okay so and then sometimes you know you touch it and you don't realize something is on your hand so i just think it's time for me to get some more gesso because it's very little in this container and it is very old i got a lot of good uses out of this so it served its purpose, I'll tell you that. I like this gesso too. But I think I'm going to try um, Dina Wakely. I'm not media, I think, because I've heard some good stuff about that gesso. And um, I made gesso before, and don't get me wrong, like if, you know, if I, if it's a situation where I really need it and I can't buy it, then that works for me. But other than that, I really don't. Um, like 
it's just it is a difference it is a difference but it still works don't get me wrong but there is a difference so but i prefer this so far this art basics gesso gesso i do like the liquitex one that i have too yeah i do like that i'm gonna put a little bit over here i don't want to go on the letters but i do want to go like here because i know if i get some some spots when i lay down the um the the, the gelatos it's, it's still gonna look nice even if it's skipping somewhat so that's that so let me put this over here and i'm gonna dry my page and i think while i dry it i'm gonna pause so you don't have to see and hear that okay i'm back in the paper buckle just a little bit so i'm gonna take it and go like this and try to get it to go down a little bit anyway so i have a dilemma because um I don't know. I I there I've done I've used gelato and stamping before, I believe, together, but I never I don't recall doing it in a way where I wanted the stamp to so much stand out. I think I was doing much more layering than anything else. And so I'm thinking like if I stamp this first and I took the backing off. That's why it looks so crazy. I was trying something. No knows. But anyway, if I um, I'm thinking if I put the gelato down and then I try to stamp the ink on, am I gonna have a problem? I don't know. I really just don't know. But you know what? I'm gonna try it. And you know something? It's all fun. If I mean. Yeah, I'm not going to worry about that. I'm just going to go ahead and try. So, um, I do want to use this archival ink. I'm going to use this. What in the world is this? Lord Jesus. Oh, that's from the other side or no? Oh, that's from the stamp. Oh, my God. All right. It's all right. So, let me not go crazy with this. So, I'm going to figure out what side I want to. Okay, I want this to go inside. So, I'm going to stamp everything. I got to get on a really hard surface so the ink could, you know, it's going to be tricky because I don't have, oopsie, um, the back of this, so it's okay, you know, and sometimes with stamping and all that stuff, there's those happy mistakes, but it's not too happy when you have a certain thing in mind, but like I said, I have an idea of what I want to use, but I really don't know how everything is going to. So let me put this here. Right. So go like that. I want to make sure I get a good impression. Stamp it down. Right. And I'm going to pull it up. Ah, I like that. That came out good. And then I think I'm going to do it this way so i'm gonna have to put more stamp see now i'm looking i'm like i'm gonna have to color that in oh no okay but you know what i'm gonna probably i'm not gonna get caught up i'm i know what i'm gonna do i think i know what i'm gonna do i could be very detailed about it but then again i don't have to right so we'll see we shall see okay so now for the bottom should i do it like this yeah i'll do it like that we'll see what happens how it comes out okay this is the fun of it i guess like doing experimenting and then seeing how things turn out you know all right there we go well that's cool that's cool with me. Uh-oh, I've got ink on my hand. I put the pad the wrong down. I put the pad face down on my hand. Okay. All right, so let me put the stamp to the side here. And so, you know, let me see if I can get it off of this. Because I wouldn't want it to, like, go to the other page. So let me get that up. So here we go. So this is archival ink. So when I go to put the... 
when I go to put the gelatos, this, this should not react. I should not have a problem. That should not be reacting. And you know what? I really think that I don't think I'm going to use any stickers. And as far as those dangles are concerned, I don't think that's going to happen. <laughs> because you know what? You see, this is what I'm saying. Like, when I put this, now that I see this, this looks so busy. Like, where's the dangles going to go? Like, honestly? Nope. So, there goes that idea. See? Right out the window. So, now let me pick these gelatos. So, I am going to probably just do some coloring with the gelatos. Let me see how that's going to work, right? Because this is, I don't typically do this. So, I want to make this um, two shades of pink. So, maybe this pink, I have these right here. Maybe I'll use three shades of pink with that. And then I'll make these roses red. That might work. And then we have another green here or so for... Maybe we'll use some yellow in these flowers. So let's just see. And I already know the words that I want to put. Okay, so I'm going to need a better brush than what I have over here. Let me see. Okay, I'm going to use this brush right here. So, I know I need some water. So, I can either... I'm thinking like for this, maybe... Let me just see. I could spray the paper, right? I could spray the paper. And then, um, put the... Just the oh, I could put the gelatos down, I think. And then just... So, let me try that. Let's, let's try <laughs> Let's try. Okay. And there's that other pink. They're pretty. Pretty pinks. Okay. So, now I'm going to go ahead and just squirt that a bit. And see if I can just move it around with the... Right, I shouldn't have anything hard because of the um I should be able to like get it to move nicely because the page is gessoed. And so and I know it may even come out a bit avant garde because of the fact that you know I'm mixing it all together and all these different colors, but you know what? It's okay. Fun, fun, fun. So we'll see what color we get. It's like a a purplish, like a lavender is coming out, like a lavender color. It's still nice, though. And, um, yeah, but it is turning like a, um, I don't know if that's mauve or, see, I know, like, pink, purple, but I need to learn, like, what is, like, green, blue, and, I mean, I do know the basics, but I'm not, I don't know much about color theory. You know, so that's something that um I could endeavor to learn, but I'm not hard pressed to learn it right now. Yeah, so right now, so it looks like I'm doing more of a coloring technique, if anything. And so I'm gonna spray some more water here. So, and I guess I don't even have to really spray to wet up my paper as much. I can just. Um, dip my brush in water, I guess. But see, this is nice that, um, with that, um, Arcalva ink, it doesn't, um, it doesn't, um, react. Because if it, if it did, this, this thing would be a hot mess. This paper, this journal page would be a hot mess right about now. 
as, as much as I'm, I'm touching some of, it's like my coloring is not perfect, you know? And so even though I'm trying not to, I'm intentionally trying to avoid the lines at the same token, you know what? I'm going to be wet. I'm going to dip my, my, in this brush because this little bit of spritzy water ain't, it's like, yeah, I like that better. I probably should have been a little bit less heavier handed with this darker pink because it's like it wants to leave that line. But I think I could take my finger and rub it. But I need to make sure my fingers are real clean before I do that because then I'll have a mess on my hands. But I was saying something. Oh, I'm intentionally trying not to touch the black lines, but I might like being too too particular about it so you see because i know it's going to touch it a little bit because this is not like the skinniest um how can i say brush tip so it's like almost like as if i'm using the, the gelatos as um or like a little watercolor so i am going to lay down some more color though i'm gonna dry it and I'm going to also lay down some more color. And I think I'm going to lay down that, that, um, this one, I think. I'll see. I'll see. This is water. I need some more color. And it's doing a different thing. Like it has, because depending upon how I know how I lay the gesso too, that's going to have a lot to do with how the background like this right here, there's like this this patchy color. And so now you see like that, but I'm going to, oh God, I don't want that hard line. What I'm going to do, I kind of don't want that like that, but I kind of want it like, so I'm going to have to come up some, yeah, I'm going to have to, um, let me see. So this is really some experimenting because I don't know how. Let's see. I probably would have been better to use my finger, but it's all right. I ain't gonna. All right. And then, um. I guess, too, the more you use these products, the more you get, you get, you get better understanding of how they work and stuff like that. But initially, when you don't know and you, you just playing around. But, you know, I know you can't be afraid to just dive in. Like, if it's something you want to try, just try. And it may not look like other Bible journalists' pages, but who said it had to? Like, to be honest, with sometimes I be seeing other pages and they look really nice. Like, some of the Bible journal pages that I see in, um, like, when I used to be on Instagram and stuff like that. And, you know, on Pinterest, whatever. And even YouTube videos, and they look so upscale. And I I learned, like, do not compare yourself. Like, honestly, like, and then one day I realized I saw myself trying to make my page look, like, similar to the pages. Like, very similar. I know nobody, it just, it all is journaling and stuff like that. But I said, oh, you know, I need to get, I need to make sure that um I'm getting these other things you know, like, you know, from different companies, because I see people using some things from different comp journaling companies, and they are really nice, don't get me wrong, and, but I was like, wait a minute, Samantha, you, you don't, your page don't have to look like everybody else's page, don't get caught up like that, you can learn to appreciate people's pages, but you be yourself. Don't don't try to be like everybody else because you think that's the way it has to look and that's what's going to make people like your stuff. And to me, it's one big distraction. It's one big distraction. You got to, you, is it just, then it's just going to take away from it. That's just my opinion. Like, are you doing it for you or are you doing it to impress? Now, I'm not saying like, 
it's not good to is is I'm not saying we don't we shouldn't want supporters and stuff like that. That's not what I'm saying. But I'm saying like I just I just don't want to be like fake with my stuff and trying to be like somebody else. For lack of better words. Well, I think no, no, no. I think that's what I mean. That's what I mean. I just don't I don't, I want to be myself and I don't want the pressure of having to look like every other Bible journaler. I just don't. And I know sometimes there are going to be similarities and stuff like that. And that's cool. You know. Because we all learn in this community. We all learn from each other. Like that book that I just purchased. Not just purchased. But that book that I purchased. You know. That book is. um. Look at that. That looks really different. And um, I'm, I'm cool with it. I'm going to be cool with it. <laughs> um, That book that I purchased. You know, um, that Bible journaling book, you know, there's a lot of ideas in there. And I'm sure there are people that have never read that book and they have similar ideas. You know, so we all are in this learning. This is a big community where we learn from each other. Yeah. So. Mm -hmm. so now I'm gonna be done with this 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 part. I may have to get a smaller brush to do something with those um these flowers. See, I didn't intend this. I sure did not intend this. <laughs> but that's what happened, and I'm gonna leave it like that. I'm not let me put this away. All right, and so oops, so now I'm gonna work on these um these flowers. I'm gonna dry hold on, I'm gonna dry this thing first. Why well, can't get this thing open? What's going on? Oh god, all right, I got it open. So I'm gonna put that away. I'm thinking maybe I should do something red and purple now with these flowers. See, now I'm changing. I'm going to put this blue back. And um, I'm going to use this green. I'm going to put this other red back. So let's see. I'm going to see. I'm going to try to use this. Let's just let me put this in here. Let me see if I got another little one. No, that's not going to work. This one. Oh, wait a minute. What is that doing in there? Lord have mercy. I'm going to have to get me some, um, some different, um, what is it? Some what water, different watercolor brushes because I just be using whatever. I don't be thinking like, oh, you know, look at this. This got glimmer mist all on it. Oh, well. So let's see what happens. I'm not going to. So I'm going to put this here. So I think you'll see that. Yeah. And I'm going to put. This is some metallic. I'm going to put that there. So I'm going to make like a little palette. And I'm going to put this here. Yeah. So. Okay. I'm going to pick some of that up. And I'm going to. Where should I put this? I'm going to put it here. I don't want too much water. Okay, see, I'm that's too much like the one I picked up. Let me try this. Yeah, that's better. Because this is a little bit darker. That other color, it looks too similar to what's laid down already. Because of the mixture, the blend. So, okay. So, I know it's not going to be perfect, and that's fine. Um, That's fine. I think I want to make that a little bit darker, right? So, and um, I'm gonna pick some up. I'm gonna put it over here too. This is like a metallic type um purple. I'll put that in there. 
What's that? That's a leaf over there? Yeah. Alright, I'm going over to the next page. Oh no. Good. So that's okay over there. And um Okay, so let me see. Want more purple. It's it's buckling up. I wish it wasn't doing that. You see that? How it's turning up? Maybe once I dry it. I should have probably dried it then. But no, I'm not going to go through it. So I already know, like, this other purple that I have here. Maybe I could just... Let me come up down here with it. I think you can see down here. Yeah, you can see this. Let me move this up so... So I'm gonna do this flop, this rose here. Right. So even if it's a little bleed, 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 it goes out the line a little bit. I'm gonna be okay with that. And then what I'll probably do is just blend it. Yeah, that's what I'll do and make it look really um. I'll just I always say um avant garde <laughs> when it doesn't look typical. Oh god, alrighty. It helps me not to feel so bad because I think like you know a horse is a horse is a horse is a horse. And you draw some uh, you try to draw a horse and it'll come out like a horse. You gotta say something to make you feel better. Um okay, so so purple, so we have that. So I'm kinda liking that. And this is puddling over here. So And I think this can really use. So I don't I don't know if it's showing up on um the camera on the video, but I can see the metallic a lot. Like it's like this glimmer, almost like an iridescent color. So that's that. So I'm gonna wash this, rinse this off a bit, and I'm gonna pick up some of this red. And this I'm gonna make this whole flower right here red. This whole thing will be red. So, yeah. You know, I'm thinking I may go back uh, with that pink in the areas where it's just like this stuff here. But we'll see. I, t I pulled out the yellow for um for that. But I'm going to see. I'll see. I'll see. Because it's like it's going to be near that purple and it may end up making brown if those two things blend together. So I'll have to. It'll probably be best to just make it red too. I'm no coloring expert. So. Check my food in a minute. I am cooking dinner tonight. And so, yeah, but I want to talk, mention something about this scripture. It really blessed my heart. You know, because it's so easy sometimes just to beat up on oneself and, you know, one of the things I'm learning more and more is like, you know, we pray and we get closer to God. He starts bringing up stuff um, to deal with, you know, when we ask God to change our hearts and work on us and we worship in him and we're going to see things. And that's because, you know, we're in his light. And when it's in light, when light exposes and what the enemy won't tell us is like, oh, you and when you see it, that's a blessing because to not see it means you can operate in deception, you know. But when we see our mistakes, we see our flaws, and we see like, oh, our attitudes when we're in a given situation, you know, thank God because we're not reprobate, you know. It's 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 one thing to keep going and you you don't see that you sinning against God or you have a wrong attitude in a certain area, you know, and never think you're wrong and never think like, 
you know, have a mindset of like, I'm perfect and nothing's wrong with me. You know, like I don't make mistakes. That's like, that's a very bad place. Um, that's a bad way of thinking because nobody's perfect. You know, we all make mistakes. We all fall short, but God loves us regardless. And, um, you know, when we worship in God and seeking his face and crying out to him to be more like Jesus, we're going to see those things that are not like Jesus so we can repent of them. And um, to see it, it doesn't feel good, though. I'm not going to front. It don't. Like, I, even if nobody else will see it, it is just God that see it. I still feel a little embarrassed at times. You know, especially if it's something where I thought I was all out. I'd, I'd be like, oops, <laughs> poor Jesus. I feel embarrassed. I feel like pick up your face. And I know I don't have to feel like that with God, but I still do sometimes. It's like, God. And then he's like, okay, now you're not going to be going into no self-loathing. Let's stop this right here. I showed you. You can repent. Move on. I'll show you how to get it right. And that's just it. You know, so thank God for his mercy. You know, thank God for his mercy. So, yeah, you know, I am fit. David said that to the Lord, I am fearfully and wonderfully made. That's all of us. Wonderful are his works. Yes, it is. And we are his workmanship. You know, and, um, He's with us. He sees and he knows. You know. Sometimes you have to block out other voices and just get along with the Lord. And sometimes not talk with people as much when you go and do certain transitions. Because, you know, other voices sometimes. And when I say other voices, I mean... You know, situations you may going through and things you're going through personally and you're talking to the Lord about it. Sometimes he won't even let you share with other because they'll put their two cents in it. Not because they mean any harm, but next thing you know, you all turned around and you try to deal with this situation that you're in. So, you know, um. And then, you know, if somebody's so quick to point out everything that you're doing wrong, that won't help either. So, but anyway, let me put this green down now for the leaves. So, it looks like this whole thing took a whole different turn. I did not expect this at all. So, let me do the green. This video what is already, this video is going to be pretty long like the other one. But it's real time and, you know, if someone want to skip forward, they can skip forward. But then there's some people that all do want to watch it. So, I'm just going to leave it. But I'm, I'm liking this, I'm liking this. I don't know what this is down here though, that's to be honest with you. I don't, I don't know what that is. Maybe that's leaves too. Okay, I think so. Okay. You know what? But I'm going to try to... Oh, I think that's a stem. This looks like some type of... You know what? It won't hurt to do that, will it? No. And I don't... I, don't, I think it will be okay to even do these. Well, no. I'm not... I'm going to try to go back... We'll see. We'll just see. Yeah, so I'm liking it. It's different. It's not what I expected, to be honest with you, though. This is not what I thought. That's why I say spontaneous, because even though I have ideas when I come, I'm like, I still don't know the layout. I still don't know how this is going to. Um, It was one um journaling challenge I did where I would take the time to do my layouts. Um, I will really sit down, take the time to do the layout, and um, then 
I would record and just transfer things over. I think that was what I did in November. But I have my notes. I can look back in my um this notepad that I had. Oh, that's what it was. Okay, Lord, I remember now. That was when I did the roof. There was a couple, there was a lot of them. I would do the layout first. Yep. Now I remember. Yep, yep, yep. I will do the layout and um yeah I remember now I remember that's what I was doing with the book of roof and matter of fact I think every single one of them I did the layout if I'm not mistaken I think every single one of those videos I did the layout first I even think with this, I'm a, I can make the colors richer because once I dry it, I can go back over it. But, um, and that's what I was thinking about doing, but I'll see. That may not even be necessary the way I'm seeing things going now once it's drying, the gelato is drying. Now, the whole thing is now, am I going to be able to write on this? Because I don't think, like I said, I was going to use stickers, but the more I'm thinking about it, the more I don't think I want to. I think I want to use my own handwriting. I think I want to use my own handwriting. So I went live on Facebook today on um, my husband and I ministry page to read. Um, I also read Psalm 139 on there too. We haven't gone live on there for a minute. And, um, but we have been recording videos for our YouTube channel, Words of Encouragement, um, teaching on the heart and words. Um, if you're interested in seeing it, that link, that's a playlist. It says Jesus Outside the Wall Ministries. It's in my playlist. And, um, you know, we are, um sharing a message um, so that's that so now hold on Where is that here? so I think oops that purple got on me uh, that got on the purple so I think this needs a little bit more of that green yeah it does So it's not perfect. It's not all in the lines, but you know what? I'm I'm good with it. And I think what I'm gonna do is now go back in with those colors. Where's those those gelatos? I'm gonna have to get that pink back out. Oh, that's why. This is a baby Kleenex. Um. Oh no, a Charmin. Those things that you put the wipes in. That's what that is. So what's this? Oh, okay. So I'm going to put some over here off to the side. And then this. I probably could have just used that to go inside. Since it's so um, close to that. Oh, I better get this green one. It's so close to the color, you know. So let me see. Yeah, it's so close to it, so I'm going to just go ahead and, yeah. And I might, I might, 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 um, go over it with another color. But then again, I don't know. We'll see. Because this is the first time I'm really, that I could recall. I don't ever remember using a gelatos like this. Um, I laid them down with water, but to like, I'm like almost coloring with them. Like if I was using a, um, a marker or something, I'm just picking up the color with the gelato, with the brush. So I went in there with that. Let me put a little bit more water with this and this. 
see it. Let me come over here. Because I don't want no white, those white gaps. So, yeah, that's different. It's kind of, it's kind of tedious, though. I would say that. And this is like, I don't know what's going on with that. But you know what? Listen, believe it. It don't look bad. It's just different. Let me put this here. I'm going to use a little bit of more of that color. Oh, all right, maybe not. Oh, I think I know what I'm going to do. Okay, I think I'm going to use another medium. I'm, I think, I think, I think what I'm going to do with this, okay, because it's spontaneous, right? All righty. I think I'm going to go ahead and... I think it's a purple over here. Um, go on with my red brush pen for those. Because I think that brush pen, I have a, a feeling that it's gonna it's it's gonna be okay. It's ooh, that is just too. Wait. Uh oh. That is just too, too, too purpley. Oh, let me get some purplish rather. Oh boy. All right, there we go. We got a something else. Huh? Mm -hmm. Okay, that's not bad. It didn't look that rich when it was over there. So I'm thinking what I want to do now is go back over these purples a little bit. This purple one a little bit more. Yeah, like right here. Yeah, that make it a little bit more rich. More um, the color, deepen the color. Yeah, I like that. So I have to upload this video soon so I get too too late. Um when as soon as I finish with this I'm gonna upload it. I wanna make sure that it's it's up before twelve o'clock midnight. Cause then the whole purpose is not going to Well, you know, people can still watch it afterwards. Everybody's not gonna watch it before. You know, sometimes it doesn't get views till later. So, but still, I still want to put it up. Okay, I think that's good enough. And so, you know what? I'm going to stop right there. And um, let me pause and clean up. Okay, so I figured since um, I figured I will go back in with this pink here and um, for this distress, this is a distress marker and I have this other distress marker. I also have these Tim. So, I think I want to try to take this and go in with the red. Yep, and it's working. So, it's very vibrant too. So, I'm getting in those little areas. Right? Yeah. 
So this right here, that light right here. And some of them didn't stamp out too much, but there's somewhere you can see it, the outline. Yeah, so I think that's good right there. And then I may not need to, let me, I was thinking about outlining with the green. So that, and it, it's going on so nicely, even though there's gelatos underneath. underneath. Um, I need to, I need to do a little bit studying a, a bit more studying rather on my um on some of the products that I have so I like that I like how the red helped it a bit and let me see um get a brush tip for the purple like a little shadow in I guess I'll do it on this side a little shadow in I'll do it a little bit. I love it here. And I guess I could even go in with um the black marker, but you know what? I don't know if I want to do all of that. Not tonight. <laughs> not tonight. No, not tonight. No, not tonight. Okay, so let me get to the part where I was going to do a little bit of green and pinkish, but you know what? That's fine. And um, let's see. So, I'm going to write, so it's this part right here. So, let me underline that. I think I'm going to use this pink pen right here. Thank you for making me so wonderfully complex. That's the part where we say I'm fearfully and wonderfully made. Um... How well I know it. You know what? Your workmanship is not is marvelous. How well I know it. And you know what? I'm going to highlight that because we got to really know that. We got to know that. And God is able to solidify that in our hearts. If we don't. If he's the only one that, that can do that anyway. How well I know it. And I want to highlight that whole thing. This highlight is pretty. Oh, I like that. How well I know it. Yes, Lord. When they say, I know that I know that I know that I know. This is something so precious to meditate upon. I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Ooh, loving that. So I'm gonna put um still beautiful shortcomings with my shortcomings and all. So I am going to take this stamp and put it here. I am still beautiful with my, this stamp is so big, right? But I'm going to use it. Listen, I'm still, I want to use it. I'm going to use it. So, and I'm going to make the other letters. Yeah, I like this stamp so much. Like I said, I only used it once or twice, but it's a really nice stamp. I think I got this a long time ago for like 
I think it was like a dollar or something like that. A dollar fifty from Michaels. So let's see what happens. I hope the impression comes out good. Yep, I'm gonna go over it though. I'm gonna have to go in with some with some black. But that's okay. It's okay. I got a brush pen that's black. I think I'll just go inside. So I'm gonna use a pencil first. And I'm gonna write I'm still beautiful. Alright. I'm Still I'm gonna put beautiful right then I'm gonna put um Flaws and all. Yeah. Flaws and all. Yeah, I like that. Okay, so now let me get my sharpie pen this is a good one so i am going to use a sharp oh that's going to bleed through that's going to bleed through but you know what that's when i'll use paint i'll use gesso and paint because if it bleed through it's going to bleed through on this it's okay so i'm Still. All right, beautiful. Comma. Flaws <gasps> Oh look what happened. It's smart. It's smart, but that's all right. And all Well, flaws and all. There you go. How's that for you? Floors and all. Look at the floors. I'm gonna put floors there. Mistakes and all, right? Still beautiful. Still beautiful. It's not what I would have wanted, but isn't that like sometimes how things, how it happens? But God says, you know what? It's still beautiful. Still beautiful. I didn't mean to make that mistake, but it happened. And sometimes that's what happens. You don't know, intentionally mean to do some things. It happens. And um, you can redo them. But say, oops, sorry. And then get better. Yeah. How oh, apropos. And you know, sometimes like okay, I'm gonna cover that up. I, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not gonna show this video because of that. But I'm not gonna show the pictures. Oh yes, I am. Oh yes, I am. Just like that. Floors and all. 
And then you know something? Oh wow, I got an idea. Okay. I was gonna say. I guess it wasn't dry. I thought it would be. Okay, hold on. Alrighty. So that's that. So, so I'm going to put floors. I'm going to put, um, I'm going to write this in. Let me get my Sharpie. Floors, I'm going to put over here, we'll put, I'm going to put shortcomings, mistakes, sins, committed, mishaps, Struggles. Um. Uh, bad habits. Right, but thank God he could take care of all of that. And all I'm gonna put Jesus in me. <laughs> That's the good stuff. The Good stuff. <laughs> Jesus in me. Talents. Giftings. Love. Good habits. So, of course, this is not exhaustive. So, so floors, and then I'm going to put this comma here. And or, I'm going to put this comma here. Good habits. The good I do. Intelligence. All that good stuff. That God blesses us with. So, that's the page. And look at this right here. Floors and all, okay. You know what it is? It's all of this stuff on on my hand. Okay. So, I think I'm going to write here a prayer. And this is my page, so if it... I think I want to use black. I do want to use black. Or should I? I'm gonna use purple. I'm gonna use purple. I'm gonna use purple. I don't like it. Father God, thanks for making me wonderfully. Beautiful, gifted, talented, and all that is good stuff. Most importantly, thanks for your love it does not cease even when I fall short you still see me as wonderfully and 
family name. I am your workmanship. Created by you for your glory. In Jesus name I pray. Amen. And that's it. That is it. And that is different. And I'm okay with that. So that's it, folks. That is it. And I think our little mishaps here fell in line with um, what this is all about. So I like it. It's different. I, it's not. I won't say it's my favorite, but I don't um, dislike it altogether. A mistake that had to happen to even show. Like, am I gonna still see my pages beautiful when I made a mistake on it? Yes. Alrighty. So that's it, folks. Thanks for watching. God bless you, and remember, you are fearfully and wonderfully made. Jesus loves you. Bye-bye.